Welcome everybody to my fall home tour. Julie, this is for you. So, all the blue and white, blue and white table covers, the pillow covers, <laughs> blue and white. Blue and white is kind of going away for autumn. Now, of course, the blue and white will stay in the hutch, but it'll get some autumn leakage. And all the pillow covers, blue and white are coming off. There's black velvet underneath. This is my my mantle, which is, everything's kind of like gotten messy because through the summer, we've just been piling things. There's one lonely pumpkin I just stuck there. The cat got it out of the box of pumpkins. So all the blue and white and summer aesthetic type of things. Good morning. I'm gonna show you what I did. Wrap some gar some fall garland around my topiary, around my wreath, around this topiary that's in the planter bed. I have my black checks, which I have all year around. And I'm kind of in and show you the entry. Oh, hello, Notion. Notion came to greet us. Here is what I did in the entry. Stuck some fall flowers in with the hydrangeas. Let me take you up close because I love this pumpkin that says, welcome friends. I got that at the thrift store last year and it's heavy. I have it up a little higher on a book. You can do that. If you have pumpkins that you want at different elevations, just put a book or two under it. Autumn Blessings, I got that at the Dollar Tree back when things were a dollar. <laughs> and then, oh, I'm set up for Mahjong. It's my turn for Mahjong at my house. And so the ladies will be here in a moment. I just thought I'd quickly show you garland around the top of my hutch. The little uh, coaster turned upside down so the cork showed with the little pumpkin. This is a table runner that I usually use on the table, but I thought it would be really pretty here. It has pumpkins at both ends. And let's go around the corner. And I took the blue pillow covers off, so now you see the black velvet. Um, have my fireplace on. Some more garland. I like to keep it elegant and simple because in Hall at Halloween time, the spooky stuff will come out. <laughs> I got this cool book. I saw it on Linda Smith Davis, uh, New England Fine Living. She got it at a thrift store. A hundred malicious little mysteries selected by Isaac Asenoff. Look at that. Is that the cutest cover? Perfect for Halloween. And you know, when we're playing Mahjong, there's five of us and whoever wins gets to sit out. And I thought a two or three page storybook would give them something to read while they're here. Over here we have another pumpkin and a checkered table cover. A scary looking cat, which I love that particular. Oh, and my son's fall looking jackets hanging up there. <laughs> we take all of these chairs and put them over for the Mahjong game because they're more comfortable than folding chairs. More flowers stuck in the hydrangeas. And I'm gonna do a close up of the table. Okay, this is a giant tablecloth. And uh, instead of using it as such, I folded it in half and it fits perfect as a, a table cover for this table. Right here, I have my Ceramic pumpkins, ceramic pumpkins. This one has a secret. He'll turn around come Halloween or, you know, October. Um, got this at a consignment store last year, and I just love it. It was on clearance, I believe. And so that's about it. Oh, and outdoors, I still haven't put the black and white check table cover on that old table. But way out there, let's see, let's go closer. You can see the little welcome pumpkin sign. So that's about it. And so 
here is the final result of the hutch and panning around there's my new little sh kitchen chandelier or what will you call it breakfast room chandelier there's a beige soft furry blankie on that chair and this chair and here is where the kitty sits curls up this is a window bench here is my tablecloth that I love, April Cornell. I have an absolute addiction to collecting them. And this one is my newest one, Portobello Truffles. Um, let's see, what else? Morel and sh uh, Shiitake. I just love this tablecloth. Black, I love black. And I also love the contrast of having white with black or, in this case, since it's fall, cream. I love these cream placemats. They give us each a sense of place, like this is my spot, that's your spot. There's a little stool in case somebody wants to pop over and sit with us for a few minutes, or the bench. And then let me show you a close-up of the hutch. I'm so pleased with the hutch. It's so pretty. And I wanted to show you my, um, I may have showed you this on a second video, we'll see. But I can never get tired of showing you my copper collection. On this side, we have carrots and the bunny who go together. And I have my fish up there, my pig and the mushrooms, isn't that so sweet? And then over here, what I topped off the hutch with, a checkerboard runner, buffalo check runner. And let's see, let me get out of the view. Um, oh, a crocheted pumpkin back there. My little adorable pumpkins that I got on Amazon five velvet pumpkins for $15. I think that was my one purchase this year. And tea time. And let's see, palm reading. Teeny tiny little books. Anyway, hope you enjoyed my fall decor. I want to share with you one last thing that's part of my autumn decor every year. It's a book, just a nice little sized book, not too fat. It's called Autumn, Susan Branch from the Heart of the Hun. She has many followers. This is one of my other little collections, just like my April Cornell collections. Look at how beautiful the in inside color cover is. Let me tell you about Susan Branch. All of this beautiful lettering, all of these beautiful pictures that you see, that's her home. Um, all the backgrounds, everything, all the writing, she does by hand. Um, all the lettering. The Man Who Came to Dinner, that's the little story about her husband, who is the love of her life, as it says right there. He's, if you haven't read her books, there's a whole story that goes along with their, a whole love story. They're like the perfect couple. And they are older. I mean, they're not really young anymore. Get down, Goosey, stop scratching. So I just want to show you the contents here. Autumn arts, decorating, entertaining. I made it myself. Appetizers, side dishes, main dishes, sweets, Halloween. What's the use of a book, thought Alice, without pictures or conversations? Lewis Carroll. And I want to show you one more page. I'm not going to go through the whole book. But look at this, just to give you an example. Indian pudding. That's a wonderful recipe for Thanksgiving for a side dish. And um, pumpkin cheesecake. I will be adapting this to my own diet, which will be low carb, but I certainly recommend these books. Living Nature. Not dull art shall plan my ways and rule my heart. Okay, so once again, just 
beautiful book. And there's Susan Branch when she was young. And um, get yourself a copy. Probably available on eBay. If not, go to SusanBranch.com. Her up. You will love, love, love her books. Christmas books, autumn books, summer books, girlfriend books. I've gotten the girlfriend book and given it to girlfriends frequently because I love them. So I always watch for them on eBay. All right. So thank you so much for following my little home tour. Hope you enjoyed. And please come back for my Christmas tour. Bye now.